my online 40% off shopping spree at Michael's. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have my haul from Michael's that I did um, when the paper pads were 40% off and then I went ahead and I decided I didn't want to go into town, pay $10 to drive to pick up the journal, the books, the paper. So I went ahead and went online and picked them up. I'm going to do a quick flip through, show you what I got. Then I'll come back and we'll go through page by page of each of the paper pads that I did pick out. Um, so this is the paper pad Christmas plaids. And there's 48 sheets, two of each. And some of them have gold foil. So this is the quick flip through of the plaids. <clears throat> and I think they're going to be really fun. I, I like that. I think I might use that with one of the other paper pads. So there you go. Christmas plaids gives you a great pocket or something that you might use in a journal or background pages if you're doing home decor. Um, so this is Sugar and Sparkle. I have the six by six of this pad. And you know, maybe we should try this way. We'll try it. Ah, we'll do this and then the flip through, I'll go the other direction, okay? So this is Sugar and Sparkle and it is pink. It has that beautiful vintage pink Santa. I love, I love that page of paper right there. Love that. That's kind of cool that they brought in some architecture. And the other thing I thought was cool in here, there's some fluff, fur. So there's fur with little like snow dots in it. So there's your cut apart page, some more fur, beautiful pink glass bulbs, and there is that one. So next is, oh, somehow this one didn't get its other side open. I'm so sorry. I do this because one time I use the scissors and cut the paper and I don't want to cut the paper. So this one, classic vintage. I love this. So online I ordered three of these and they came wrapped in a plastic. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Love this. You get your numbers. Of course I use my flinch cards but those numbers are adorable. The wreaths, the trees, some postcards, ornaments, brick. It's pretty cool. Brick. Like that. So, very vintage. This one, these come out. Okay, so in their different orientations, they're all different. Cute little deer snowflakes with foil so there are some foiled pages in here isn't that beautiful okay so there's that and next we have gilded berry looks like I also missed this one I'm saving some of these I might try and make something out of those we'll see okay Lucy just walked in hopefully she won't jump up Okay, so this is Gilded Berry. It's kind of a purpley burgundy. It's a burgundy leaning towards the purple side. So, again, we'll be going through these um, page by page later in the video. Okay, I just thought that was gorgeous and different. Oh my gosh, I love this. North Pole News. Look at that. You can just...
frame that and put it somewhere in your house. You can cut these out separately. I would rip them, but there's a whole bunch of things. Oh, that was a cool page. So this one's black and red. There's your cut apart, some music, antlers, sweater, ugly sweater. This one has numbers also. It has another page. Oh, I like that. And then some advertising. <clears throat> so another great with cut aparts. And so there's that one. Oh my gosh, this one is awesome. I'm going to be making my Christmas planning journal out of this. I thought I, I would be a good idea to have one, that, you know, the one where you put your list so you can check it twice and maybe ideas for the Christmas party because it looks like we'll be having two Christmas parties. And I just, I love that image when... Um, I have some things from my Mary Kay days that I can add to this from, um, I did something similar. I used an image that was similar to this, this girl and the presents and stuff for my, my, um, my open house, my open houses. So I just think that it's absolutely adorable and I think it's going to make a great look at that. So shopping. <clears throat> I think it would make a great December daily, and I can't wait to play with this. Eggnog, please. Eggnog. I love eggnog. You guys, I love eggnog. When I worked for the grocery store, I was the flower lady at the grocery store, and the the kid, the guy that worked in the dairy section would call over the loudspeaker the, day, the first day that the eggnog nog would come in. Julie, eggnog is here. <laughs> Yeah, love it, eggnog. Love it. Okay, so then they have this one. It's a brutal day. It's not Christmas, but it is so cute. And I have a couple of coffee and tea people in my life that just, I think it's gonna, they're gonna need this. Whether it's home decor. I am starting a second channel that I'm working on going through my house and redoing stuff. And so I am going to be doing some DIY and, um, and then in the spring when I do the garden and stuff, I just thought it would be kind of fun to, to do that and not throw it on this channel because um, when I've put stuff like that on here. I've gotten people that have been kind of upset that it wasn't just journals, which originally this channel was just supposed to be whatever I was doing. So what do you think? Should I just leave it, put it here? I mean, it is Dear Julie, Julie, or should I go ahead and start a second channel? So which one was your favorite? We're not done yet because I did pick up since I ordered online, one of the really cool things that happens when you order online, and remember, we're going to come back and go through these page by page so you can see what is in each one of these books. So if you are interested in that, hang out. But I did, um, one of the things about ordering online that day is all of your regular price purchases were 40% off also. You just had to put the coupon in your wallet on the on the um, on the app, so or the website or wherever I was. Okay, so I picked up the tape, the washi tape that goes with the pink sparkle, the little Santa. I think he's adorable. I think I can also use him with the um, the girl, and I think this one's going to go great with the girl. Also, I picked this up because I couldn't resist because of the Cardinals and the poinsettias. And here we have this Merry Christmas with the Santa and the pine cones and the holly. And um, I do have a kit coming out, pine cones and holly kit. So I picked that up for that. I thought these were adorable. 
you get 21 pieces. So one piece is your string and you get 20 of the truck. So that was really cute. Yeah, and then I picked this up. They're little tiny craft bags. You get 20 of them. They're two by three inch. So two by three, aren't they adorable? I just thought they were so cute. And so I picked those up. And of course the vintage Santa, 20 of these and a string. And then here's this pine cone. Now I think this, it's, I think it needs something. I'm gonna try coffee dyeing one of them and see how that turns out, see if that helps it. But I'm thinking maybe some fingernail polish um, with the gold accent in it, on it. Or maybe paint it to look like it's got snow. Um, so maybe, well, I'm going to be using gold in that, but in the pine cones and holly. Okay, so this one I thought was absolutely adorable. You get eight pieces. They are an envelope. Okay, and it's one of these envelopes, and on the other side, it's got your um, your postcard on this side. So I thought those were really cute and would make a cute insert into a December daily or a Christmas project or even as a tag on a gift. Okay, so especially like if you're sending um, gifts, sometimes it's fun to make every bit of it an experience so um yeah so you kind of see a theme there got the red truck thing going <laughs> and then i was able to get 40 percent off my christmas the doilies i get from the bakery section so 50 50 um in each one of these these are the ones i get from the bakery department and they were regular price so i got 40 percent off those as well so perfect time the other thing I bought, I got five of my glues because 40% off. That's way better than the 20 and 30 that I usually buy it at. So I picked up five of those. Um, the cool thing was that day it, uh, you're, you had free shipping. I think it was free shipping over $29. So I picked up all this free shipping. I didn't have to drive to town. I saved the $10 and the hour and a half that would have taken me to drive to town. The only thing was, is because of the fires right now in Southern California, um, they, they, my box, my box got stuck on the other side of the fire, so they were delivered a day late. But other than that, it was awesome, a great experience. I highly recommend it took about um, about a week. I could have paid 20 something dollars for shipping and had it here sooner, um, but that's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go through the paper pads page by page. So we're gonna start with the classic vintage. Um, it has 48 sheets and some of them are foiled. Remember, these were hot buys. Okay, and they're the Craft Smart. There's 24 designs. Let me make sure. Let's see how well we are in the. I want to make sure. Okay, perfect. We're in. We are in the, the screen. So we're gonna just put these up, and there we have Santa and the reindeer. Let's see if we can. There, and then the little dots are glittered, little dots. Okay, so that's our first page. And you, of course you get two of them. Then you get the bells. Bells are, those are cute. You get the frosted snowflakes. So they are glittered. And of course there's two pages of those. Then these, these adorable little deer. And of course you could fussy cut these out. You could cut them, you know, with a punch. Um, or you could just use the page as it is. When I just can see that making a cute, cute tag too. So that's our deer. So here are the cut aparts, and they're already cut for you. You get two pages of them, and they you just go around and carefully pull them out. So you've got this one that's shaped like that, the ornament, 
is shaped like this, the wreath. And then of course you can use, we'll play and use the backgrounds also. But so you get these cute die cuts. This one's a tag and this is around the words. This one is cut to be a tag. So yeah, so you get the tag, get this, this, you get that. Love Santa, he is adorable. So these, I mean, he would be really cute, like on the cover, collaged on the cover. Isn't he adorable? Or look at him up here. Oh my gosh. I think these are, this is really fun. And they've taken out, you know, they've made them interesting because die cuts make it interesting. And you've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on this page. And you would probably pay a couple dollars for 11 die cuts. Um, so, and of course, remember, you have two pages of these as well. Okay. So that gives you an idea. You get this starry, um, it's gold. It's not sparkly or anything, but it's definitely gold. Then you get this candy stripe, and it's it's got silver glitter. I love glitter. I love sparkle. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you guys, my mom said greetings. So I'll probably actually on one of these take this out and put it in my mom's journal. my The memory book that I've been making about my mom. And so, but that's what she said all year round. She said greetings when she saw you. I already told you how much I love this brick. It looks so vintage. And look at these ornaments. Oh boy. You guys, I have a stamp set that I purchased on HSN last year that has um, vintage, big vintage ornaments with vintage Santa and a vintage deer. It's so cute. So watch for me. I get to, we'll be using those this year. Um, candy canes, and they actually have a shadow behind them, so they look like they're sitting on the page. Oh, wow. Totally retro right there. Makes me think of, like, wallpaper from the 60s or something. I love it. Oh, wow. Look at this page. So this, this would, oh, I love this. This would make a great, you, you know, creative folding, turn it over and fold it up. You'll have a page that's like this and then a page, the pocket page. That would be awesome. Also would be a great cover if you did it like this. Oh, maybe not. It would be, it would be a big cover. It would be like a 6 by 12. <laughs> you could play with it. Um, you get six postcards. And look, these were in, this one was in a, a book. This one was taped in a book or something. I love that all those details are left on the um, the postcards, but then they've come in and they've stamped on top of it. But I love it. Some vintage uh, retro trees with the sparkly, not sparkly like glitter, but just this sparkle. I call that this a sparkle. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, then we've got wreaths, and again, they have a shadow behind them to look, make it look like they're sitting on the page. Retro sparkle, makes me think of a hotel. <laughs> and then here is the adorable number page. So look at these, you've got bright Christmas wishes, a wreath, a rejoice this adorable deer look at those eyes oh my gosh and the ornament and the star and there's that cool paper with season's greetings so they've used all not all but the images all come from the book and they're adorable and there's that Santa again can't wait to make something with this I might use this for the advent calendar I um I'm joining in a collab, and I have to make an advent calendar, so I think that might be really fun. This paper is adorable. Look at these words, totally retro. 
The fonts are totally retro, so that might be fun to play with. You got your trees. I mean, you, I see a couple of themes that you'd be able to make with these. I cannot wait to play with these, you guys. Green music. Why not? Oh, my God. I love these. I wonder if I have a punch. <laughs> like, do I have a punch that will punch these? Um, I have this from a retro children's, like, the car book that has words, and I just cut them out around the edge of these and used the words so it's it's words uh, nice jingle holly noel peace santa believe joy jingle nice okay so you get it that's that's your words oh my gosh little vintage cabins and a, a pond there's a little pond and a little tiny snowman with and here's a snowman with the little steps going up footsteps. Very cute. That is our last one. So this is v classic vintage. And then we have sugar and sparkle. And we'll walk through this one page by page. So our first pages are cut aparts. And we have the nutcracker here and journaling card and the cute Santa. And all is calm, all is bright in gold. Tis the season in gold. Merry Christmas in gold. These cute little pink sparkly Christmas trees. I'm going to look and see if I can find some of those. Notes. And then these down here. I did find a, kind of a rose gold poinsettia at um, Dollar Tree. So there's that. Um, these are really cool because it's kind of like moldings. Um, I'm going to see about, about, um, well, this page might look better coffee dyed or dyed somehow. I think we might play with that a little bit. Might not. Um, I love this with the, the ornaments in the, just a bunch of ornaments. And I love that page. Then we have one of the furry pages. So it's. Got fur and little snow dots. Here's another cut apart page. You have this beautiful round pink castle house. That's really something. And then Noel on the fur. And then Santa is here. And all is calm, all is bright. Remember you get two of each page. Making spirits bright. And just dots. And there's the vintage Santa. And of course you can cut a, cut these apart. Like if you're making one journal, you can use one part, one page and make the page and then use your other page and cut them out. Maybe if you wanted to. There's the fur and this one is slightly tinged pink. <coughs> Here you have a pink striped paper that's ombre. And then it has the little stars and dots in gold. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. You got the ombre going here and the, the cloud is covering your, your horizon there. It's a beautiful paper there. And pink poinsettias. Here's your border page. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas. Um, all is calm, all is bright. Tis the season, warm winter wishes. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, be merry. I like this one down here with the, the pink. I hope you can see that. And then you've got the ornaments. You have three of the Santa ornaments. You can either cut this, use it as a border. You could also fussy cut and use those out singly. Very, very cute. Some pink snowflakes. Here's the architecture page. These would just, just like this, take it, cut it, would make an adorable tag. And then these, this could be a border, maybe. Beautiful. 
and you have a pink ornament. We're going to come up with something for that. You know, I did, I did a video of, uh, you know, you know, those pages. <laughs> of course, you could cut background pieces that would be amazing out of all of this. I just, yeah, I don't like that page, guys. But I love this page. But somehow it got some ink in there. There's no ink out here. So, anyway, there's that. I think it's really cute. It would be really cute in a baby's first Christmas. It's just what it makes me think of. But I love this vent, um, vintage diamond look. And look at that pink stripe. Oh, I love a pink stripe. So, again, you have a collage page. You have his face. You have his whole body. And you have the poinsettias. And those, you could just use this as a page or cut out each of those separately. Um, really cute. Here we have, um, it looks like they painted on the lemon, like lemon leaf. Like they spray painted lemon leaf and put it in here. That's what it makes me think of. I'm not sure. But it's pretty. <clears throat> then you have a page of ornaments on striped paper with uh, two different colors of pink and a white variety of uh, snowflakes. So again, could be, uh, you can cut strips, use the strips. You could cut two strips, have tags. You can fussy cut them out. I think this is a great paper pad. So that is Sugar and Sparkle. Um, next we have the plaid. We'll go through this one a little bit faster. So you have your buffalo check. You have this red and black. This one adds in some blue. It reminds me of like farmer. If you're doing red, white, and blue Christmas, this would be beautiful in it. Here you have this checked plaid. Love this red and white. Makes me think of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so this one, let's, let's look real quick and see if we can use this with this. Or if if this is, well, I think you can because of that. Yeah, look at that. Really, that will be really cool with that. I like to mix my papers. If, if I mean, if that's going to make this get used, yeah. There you have one that's very Christmassy. And um, I will take and next week I'll be doing a coffee dyeing video. And so we'll try some of these and see how they turn out coffee dyed. I don't coffee dye for the most part for like my Christmas journals and things because I put pictures in them. But you might want to coffee dye. So I love that, that dark green. Here you have with the gold foiling, just the green and white. So many of these, I remember people with these shirts. And a couple of them, I have the shirt in the closet. So this one has like a peach colored stripe going through it. This one's, uh oh, this one didn't get its gold. This one's got gold. Is that happening on... Any others? No. Yeah, those all have, both of them have their gold. This one didn't get its gold. Hmm. <clears throat> so, this is the plaid. Since the whole page is the same, I'm, I'm cattywampus, okay? This is kind of a purple in there. There you've got blue and gold. This would be beautiful in some of the religious stuff that I have. I think it would be really pretty. So this one has its gold, and this one has its gold. And then we have the black and white. I know a lot of people are doing black and white this year. <clears throat> kind of cool. So that one had a vintage look. Or old look to it. This one is is white white. Okay, again could be used with that the girl, the shopping girl. 
which is called Miss Claus. As it should be. Okay, so this has a green stripe and then an orangey red stripe and black, blackish gray. Kind of almost to the blue, like on the blue side of black. Blue side of black? A blue black? So gray and like craft color. I love this. Don't know what I'd use, what I'm going to use it for, but I love it. And I love this. So for your farm style, farmhouse style, um, this is a great paper pad for home decor. You get two of each. And um, so you could do something large and a couple of small things for your home or get more than one paper pad. So, and now, now we're moving on to Miss Claus. Okay, so this is Miss Claus. Again, I'm going to be using this for my planning, my little Christmas planner. I will also use all these pieces from the front. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of bummed. I, I haven't found a paper pad yet that is Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. <laughs> that might be the, like, the, the center. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love the packages. You've got the gold foiling around the outside. You could add some gold here um, with, like, your fingernail polish or uh, glitter glue. Same with this. You've got this pink fluffy trees. I would probably come in and add the gold fingernail polish. Love this page. Like I said, the cut apart page is adorable. And, um, yeah. So, sleigh day. <laughs> Could be shopping. You know, you have you need something. Like, places they call your... Oh, they call it a buggy, your shopping cart. Okay. I cannot wait to play with this. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Love this stripe. I love everything in this one. You get two of each page. There is that front of the store. Merry Christmas. Very cute. Oh, this page just has some sparkle on each side. There's this one. There's this one. Yeah, love, love this. Here's the cut apart, cut apart pages. Point me to the mistletoe. Hello, Christmas. Naughty and nice. There she is behind the tree, some presents, and some journaling places. Love this with the wreaths. So very cute. So, so very cute. You could take a large punch and, and punch around those. You do get a plaid in here. The most wonderful time of the year. Love it. Yeah, and I will probably take some stuff out of the my box that I have because I have the cheetah print, the wildlife stuff uh, box. Here's another uh, Christmas trees, bright and sparkly, and there's the floral poinsettias. Again, I think with some some of the glitter glue in the center of these would be really pretty. You guys. This was the page that made me go, you know what? I have to have that. I absolutely love this. And I would think I might have to make something for my office out of the background of this because I just love that. And then here you have the poinsettia in a smaller print. So that is Miss Claus. Oh, did I? I didn't go over this apart very well because I just saw something I didn't even see. Did I, f I, did I skip this? There is two of them. Okay, so we have season's greetings. Look at here. Look at those boots. 
Are those not adorable? I might have to do that to my black boots. I'm going to do that for Christmas. I usually put, I have a little um, ornament that I put on the sides of my, like my galoshes, but I don't think I've ever done it on my actual boots. The lipstick, very, very cute. Very, love it. Love these presents. And then you could just go ahead and you could stack a set of presents. Um, make a set using the background pages and make your, uh, oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. Um, so I hope you look forward to that series. We'll be doing that very soon so that that, that is ready for, um, for Christmas. It's because I got to start making my list and stuff. So that might be the first thing I get to play with. So this one is North Pole News. It looks like it has some red glitter throughout 48 sheets let's take a look oh i love this it's got news um, print on the background of the, the plaid here is the cut apart we have peace and joy merry and bright seasons greeting a christmas to remember happy holidays good tidings home merry home um, this one believe have yourself a merry christmas i love the way the newsprint is used throughout this Oh my gosh, I really do love this. Look at, I make those, uh, the candy canes after um, the ones that are left over from Christmas, I make hearts out of them. And I have uh, um, clay, like somebody made uh, candy cane ornaments on my Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus Christmas tree. Because I collect Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses. Love this. I love the newsprint color to all of this. So great words, great fonts. So the, the, again, this one is North Pole News. We got the antlers. We have the ads. Very, very cute. Then we have stripe page and it's got the red glitter this would be a good background for something for home decor as well and there you have some home just I, I took a few years ago um, Carolyn actually picked up a couple paper pads that had the words and we we made our own home decor very very um, plain and simple but very easy. I just take them. I have a couple of picture frames. I take and put it in. So this one's hat. This one has your 25 days. Um, for December daily, I do the 31, and then I do extra pages at the end in case there's other days that we meet people for Christmas type activities. Um, <clears throat> and I also put our children in, like sitting with Santa and stuff like that. The ones that are not here. Um, so, and now they're, none of them are here. They're all, all over. Love this page. I always like the border pages because, you know, you can cut them singly. You can cut like this would make a great pocket. That would make a great pocket. Um, yeah. So, as well as embellishments. Another great plaid. Oh, I like this. It's um, it has like holly. It's actually mistletoe with red berries right on the outside. Love this. I might use that something like that for the day of our <clears throat> ugly sweater party. There's sweater. We have an ugly sweater party every year with our our friends. We had our Halloween party last night and. Two of our friends that always come to our Halloween party actually moved to Arizona, but right now they're in Vietnam and they called during the party and hung out with us for a little while. So they called uh, FaceTime from <laughs> from Vietnam and they, they were able to be at our party last night. It was really cool. So here we have the red sparkly ant antlers and a red plaid. I really like this, um, this book. It, it I can just see amazing things built on the top of the backgrounds of these pages. Very, very cute. 
these are the cut aparts. This one looks like it's a plate. Hmm. Another stripe page. And then that stripe continues down here at the bottom of this season's greetings. These are the same words, but done in a different color orientation. And there you go. Fresh Christmas trees. Spruce, pine, fir, and cedar. It's got music paper on the background. Established in 1905. Very cool. So if you're doing farmhouse decor, this one has some great pieces in it that you'd be able to put in your home. And then there's this. I love this one. So this one is North Pole News. And on to the next one, which is... Gilded Berry. Ouch. So Gilded Berry. Um, kind of a purpley, burgundy, something different. I have some great ribbon to use with this, and that's actually why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, so there's this faintly has like holly in the background. You have a golden white, a golden cream colored stripe. You have a larger print. That might be what's on that first page. Nope. That's different. Okay. There. Oh, look at this marbling. And it's teal in the background. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh. So you guys, um... I printed out the pictures of my mom and dad. So I have these nine pictures. You're going to see I made a little journal of of them. But when it printed, it printed these, these funky colors. Which I actually think is kind of cool. Um, I think I'm going to make Christmas ornaments out of them for my, for my Christmas tree. So I've been looking for the right thing to add. My, for our big tree... It's all different colors. I can use anything on it. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus is all red. There's some burgundy snowflakes. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you're if you're doing a wedding or a party in these colors, this would be great for that. Look at this. Awesome. These are your colors. This would be a great piece of um, home decor also. And... I actually have frames, and I take the, the regular picture out, put the Christmas stuff in, and um, so if that's something that you want to change out your pictures, this is just absolutely beautiful. I can see a beautiful journal coming together from this. There's your cut-aparts. You have, have a wonderful Christmas, sending you warm wishes at Christmas. You could also make your Christmas cards out of these. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. I don't remember seeing that page before. A little tree in the bulb. <laughs> so vintage Christmas bulbs snowflakes we have a green page of that that other one here is a collage page or this is just screaming to be cut out fussy cut all those images look at these great oh my gosh believe in the magic of Christmas wouldn't that make a beautiful cover I love it or just or the inside page first page of a journal Oh, I'm supposed to be... So this one has, like, medallion in it. It's real pretty. And it's, um, it has, like, ink or watercolor background. We've got the gold dots that are glittered. 
And then this page has this beautiful painting at the top. I think that's part of why I love this is it's all um, painted. You have these four cut aparts. And again, you could come in with your gold um, fingernail polish and really brighten those up beautifully. Or pink. You know, we did get the pink, too. Um, this The pink from Dollar Tree, number 542. And the gold is number 544. Okay. That's what I get, and I use it. Let me just blotch it around and... <coughs> Can spruce up a so here we have mistletoe that's a great page and look at this collage page isn't that beautiful so that is gilded berry and we have one left and that is the brutal day so again this one is not Christmas themed but it's coffee and tea and I thought it was <laughs> with enough coffee anything is possible that could be framed and go <laughs> go in the kitchen there we have watercolored it actually looks like they're watercolored stenciled I wonder I have never tried watercolor stenciling anything or they just might have a really good not shaky hand. So all different kinds of things. Coffee and tea. Look, you've got the old school, like for the cafe and the camp. This one reminds me of camping, but, you know, that one. Um, the percolator on the... Oh, my gosh. This is kind of cool. I love it. Some cups and macaroons. Croissant. Here's a vintage with gold dots. This one says good morning. They've taken and various bottoms of things and put them on the paper. You have some macaroons that are painted. This great paper. This is just great paper. Here's your first, your cut apart. Macaroons. This one. Coffee and sunshine. Drink coffee. Do good. Very cool. Hugging a mug. Love, but first coffee. Take life one sip at a time. Just amazing. Here we have marbled coffee. <laughs> Why not? And little squiggly lines. And little macaroons. Oh, we have some coffee dyed paper. And then your little coffee corner mocha flat white espresso coffee mocha espresso flat white espresso and then they are all it's gold the little cups oh i love that you guys my my ideas are just spinning but first coffee so you could actually cut that and have a smaller one this could be the cover of a journal here's your Border pages, you get um, you get these two of each of these. But first, coffee, hug in a mug, drink coffee, and do good. So I have a two by two inch scallop punch. I might be able to cut like every other one, and that would give me three with the scallop edge. Wake up and smell the coffee. Coffee is always a good idea. A lot of good vibes. Caffeine queen, coffee and sunshine. Oh, you got words here too. Beautiful day, but first coffee. Hug it a mug. Take life one cup at a time. Coffee time. Look at these cute coffee cups with the the hearts coming out. Here's just a whole page of coffee of mugs. Here's another cut apart page. A dark page. It's got ca coffee circles on it, too. Here's your bottom border. Very cute. Yeah, I love this page. 
I love the drawing. I think they're they're really fun. I might have to, when I make this journal or journals, I might have to draw in them. Another little coffee mug page. It's coffee o'clock. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be cute? Cut out and be a clock. Is it enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not enough. Dawn. But, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, um, you're not, you could do numbers though. Or not. <laughs> you could make it a clock. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. And then there's that. With the, these are macaroons down there. Sorry about that. And another collage page. You get two of those. Yep. So there's that collage page. And then... Oh, so this is smaller. It's the same collage page, but the images are smaller. See that? Okay. So that is our walkthrough of the seven paper pads that I did pick up. And um, I hope that helped you. Again, I think it was a lot of fun that I went ahead and was able to get these online and get the extra items as well for 40% off. So I got these for 40% off because Jessica over at I'm a Cool Mom, she was shopping and put her video up that she was shopping and that they were 40% off. And that was the last, the, the, when I saw the video, it was the last day. And I was like, I man, I didn't really want to drive to town. And so I took advantage of Michael's 40% off of, for the day, it was like a couple days, of the Hot Buys. And then they also had a coupon for 40% off your regular price purchase. So I did get to pick these up also at 40% off. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, I got my glue at 40% off. And I got these. The other thing that you can do is um, with Michaels, you can do the buy, you know, shop online, and pick it up in the store, and that has worked out really well for me. A couple of times I was waiting for someone, and I was able to shop. I knew I was going to Michaels next. And I was able to shop online real quick, and they had a forty percent off coupon if you shopped online, picked it up in the store, and I was able to get my glue for forty percent off that time too so um and they do have i i believe they also had the fabric tack i didn't need any i have i have two small bottles and half of a large bottle right now so i think i'm good on that um so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i know it ended up being a long one find something to celebrate every day don't forget to su subscribe have an amazing day and thanks for being here bye happy shopping which one was your favorite and what can you wait, not wait to see me use? Have a great day. Bye.